Hi, and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how you turn this simple IKEA coffee table into the ultimate litter box. I started out by taking the measurements of my kitty door and then cutting it out with my saw. Days without water and long sun so grown. And then I went on to build a whole structure following the instructions that IKEA so kindly provided. We cross over borders, get where we are, and it's all for you, it's all for you. It's all for you, it's all for you, I did it all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, nights without sleep. The wood is very thin, which is great because it makes it easy to move and to clean, but I really wanted to be careful when I was drilling that I wasn't applying too much pressure. Next I use the cutout as a stencil to mark where my door will be, and then I use a Dremel to cut it out. Once I was done cutting, I went back and checked where the rough edges were and I cleared them out with my Dremel. And then I use a lighter to go all around the door frame and make sure that the plastic would melt and be soft and smooth so kitties wouldn't get hurt when they get in and out of the litter box. I decided I wanted the door to slide back and forth so I could put something on it and save space. So I DIY'd it by installing rollers that the top could slide back and forth on, and I also installed some DIY stoppers so that the door wouldn't slide all the way off. As you can see, I'm using pilot holes because I cannot drill straight for the life of me, and any little bit definitely helps. When it is freezing, I will keep you And yes, I've got two of these. I have no idea what they're called but they're amazing, I love them. And you can see I am a little bit awkward when I'm using them, but they work really well to bend my L brackets and actually make the safety stop for my door. And it's finally ready. Here's a little peek of what it would look like for a kitty to go inside. You can see how roomy it is, both the kitty foyer before the litter box and then, you know, the entryway into the litter box. Once it was ready, I went ahead and emptied out my old litter box into the new litter box to kind of give kitties some of the smells of home since the other two structures are completely new and they would smell a little bit foreign. I also decided to remove the kitty door to make it easier to go in and out at the beginning and then I reinstalled it a couple of days later. It's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, I did it all for you, it's all for you. And of course, I added my black mat to stop any tracking outside of the litter box. It's all for you. So Britannia was the first to be interested and she wasn't quite sure about it at first, but she decided to give it another chance and went ahead and used it right away. When it is freezing, I will keep you warm. And as you can see, there's plenty of space in the kitty foyers for kitties to get into the litter box and out and turn around as well. 
And it's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. I did it all for you. It's all for you. So we hope we gave you some inspiration on how you can build your own litter box that's simple, easy to clean, and looks great in your house. If you want more kitty litter inspiration videos and tips and tricks, then check out this video over here. Thank you for watching us. Give your cat and dog a kiss from us, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!